Hey you all, I'm legal adult Candace Carrizales and I love soda and soda accessories. And I am Steven, also legal adult and very also into soda. Mmm, yum girl. Soda is so dang tasty. My pool is full of soda. I let my doggies swim in it and then they get all sticky. Ooh, then they need a bath. You know what really eats my sh Coca-Cola is being sued because supposedly they're downplaying the risks of their drinks to increase sales. Praxis Project, a nonprofit organization, says that Coca-Cola is misleading people by pushing the idea that a lack of exercise is the real cause of obesity. Maya Katz, the litigation director of the Center for Science in the Public Interest, said the notion that Coke's products can be part of a healthy diet is imprinted on the minds of millions, if not billions of people, and requires corrective action. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's true. If you think that Coca-Cola is part of a healthy diet, you also probably think that vaccines cause autism. Oh, sh you're gonna catch some flack for that one, bud. Coca-Cola spokesperson Ken Landers seems to think the lawsuit won't hold up, saying, Legally and factually meritless, we take our consumers and their health very seriously and have been on a journey to become a more credible and helpful partner in helping consumers manage their sugar consumption. So even though Coke and the American Beverage Association seem to think that the lawsuit is unfounded, is that really true? I mean, we can't always take the word of soda companies as refreshingly crisp truth every time. Maybe Coca-Cola really is in the wrong. The lawsuit intends to force the company to have more warning labels on their products. They targeted the sugar per ounce capita, saying it's too damn high. For instance, a 15.2 ounce bottle of Minute Maid cranberry juice has 13 teaspoons of sugar. Well, the daily recommended amount of teaspoons is Nine. Coke fact. Warren Buffett, America's oldest man, says he drinks five Cokes a day. So I just, I don't see this lawsuit changing any Coca-Cola business practices when clearly it doesn't affect your health. I mean, it makes sense for Buffett to say that. Coca-Cola's biggest shareholder is Berkshire Hathaway. Hmm. I didn't see Les Miserables. Me neither. So when else was Coca-Cola being shady? Well, in 2015, Coca-Cola began working with the nonprofit organization Global Energy Balance Network, and what I mean by working is paying the organization to promote the idea and argument that Americans worry too much on what they're eating and drinking, but basically it doesn't matter what you eat as long as you exercise, which I call bullshit right now on that. Bullshit. Bullshit. And the bullsh No, yeah. And the thing of and, and the thing about the organization is that scientists were involved. Coca-Cola essentially hired them to be like, yeah, sugar is chill, just exercise, buddy. The vice president of the organization, also an exercise scientist, whatever the hell that is, Stephen N. Blair said, Most of the focus in the popular media and in the scientific press is, oh, they're eating too much, eating too much, eating too much, blaming fast food, uh, blaming sugary drinks, and so on. And there's really virtually no compelling evidence that that in fact is a cause. But isn't there? Like too much sugar causes heart disease and shit, right? I think the American Heart Association has a couple facts about added sugar or something. I think they said like, over the past 30 years, Americans have steadily consumed more and more added sugar in their diets, which has contributed to the obesity epidemic. And that added sugar is packed with calories and has no nutritional value or something, I don't know. So why is Coca-Cola being a little sneak? Well, according to the New York Times, in the last two decades, consumption of full calorie sodas by the average American has dropped by 25%. And a quote from a public health lawyer, Michelle Simon, Coca-Cola's sales are slipping and there's this huge political and public backlash against soda, with every major city trying to do something to curb consumption. So who knows if the lawsuit will Work, but after hearing all that about Coca-Cola, I'm, I'm not sure I'm on their side anymore. In fact, I'm not sure whose side to take. I always thought that people knew soda was like one of the unhealthiest things ever and it was their fault for drinking it, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe there really are a bunch of people out there that don't understand how bad soda is. Maybe it's not their fault that they didn't read the label on the back or listen to the American Heart Association. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Well, how hard is it not to drink soda? Oh, oh I'm addicted. It's the corporation's fault. No, you're just, you're just a pussy. I actually love Diet Coke and I don't really care Coca-Cola is being sneaky because I already know it's sh for me. I am addicted to Diet Coke. It is true. Sometimes I drink a Coke Zero to mix it up, <laughs> like today. The flavors are different, believe it or not. Cheers. Why don't you crack into a Slim Jim? <laughs> There's not soda in there. <laughs>
and I have a consensual scheduled sex regularly. Ew, gross. Ugh, nasty. Hey, Steven, you're real sick. Yes! Yeah! I want to start this off by we saying did it. congratulations to Zach on his root canal.